Give me five minutes. I am going to ask you only for five minutes. And I'm going to show you why you need to put events on your smart contract. Events are going to let you look at a historical log in the smart contract. We can actually see the data that was passed onto the call. Let's say a user trigger a function in the smart contract and pass data onto that particular function. We can build an event and we can tell that event, hey, if this function gets executed at the end, I want you to emit an event. What that's going to do, it's going to let you analyze and it's going to let you look at every single transaction that executed that particular function that we added the emit event, the information that you want to obtain. Let's say, for example, the user decided to mint NFTs. The user decided to mint ERC-20 tokens. The user decided to vote in a DAO. We want to grab the historical data of that blockchain smart contract and look at the events. This is how we do it. Let's go ahead and configure a simple smart contract. What I'm going to do, I am going to build a struct and we are going to store the votes, okay? We are going to obviously map the struct to the address. So then when the user votes, the address is associated to the number and the choice that the voter selected. Awesome. Now let's go ahead into the magic. Let's build that event. We start with the event and we need to understand what we need to look for. So let's say when the user decided to vote, he or she calls the vote function. In the vote function, I am expecting what? I am expecting the wallet that voted. I am expecting the number of votes that the user decided to execute and the choice. Obviously, the choice in the voting poll. Okay, so we will add those three parameters. The first one is going to be an address, obviously the wallet address. The second one is going to be the number of votes. And finally, it's going to be the choice that that voter selected. Awesome. So we have created the event. Perfect. Let's build the function real quick. Function vote. And we will ask the user how many votes and the choice. Perfect. We are going to pass the information that the user provided into the struct. Message sender is the address that is mapped to the struct. So basically, in this case, mess message.sender is the wallet address of the voter. Okay, let's go ahead and store the amount of votes and let's go ahead and store the vote choice. So the selection in the voting poll. And finally, let's go ahead and add the emit action. This is when we are going to trigger the event that a vote just took place. Emit, message sender. Remember, if we go back to the event, what's the first parameter in the event? It's going to be the wallet, in this case, the voter. So the first one is going to be message sender. The second parameter, what was the second parameter in the function? The number of votes. And finally, the third parameter is going to be the vote option. Awesome. We're done. Let's build a smart contract. Let's deploy the smart contract. Perfect. Let's go ahead and test the vote. Vote it. Perfect. Let me add 10 votes. Let me select option number two. Let's assume there is a voting taking place and there's two options. Option one, option two, we're taking option two. Awesome. Let's go ahead and vote. Let's transact with the wallet. Boom, we have voted. Awesome. Now here's the magic of the event. Let's go into the block explorer and let's take a look at the event and how can we interpret the event that just took place. In this case, I deployed the, the smart contract in Mumbai testnet in Polygon. So let's go into the Mumbai testnet. Let's go ahead and open the event tab. What do we see? We see something here. Awesome. This is the transaction log. This is the emit for the transaction that we just performed that vote. Okay. How do we interpret this data? Not a problem. Let's select the first option. We know based on the smart contract, what was the first option? Address. Okay, let's go ahead and select address. Look at that. Awesome. Next option. Do you remember what option it was? It was the number of votes, which means it's number. Let's select number. Look at that. Those are the 10 votes. And finally, what was the last one? Option. What option? 
it was a number two. Guess what? Another number. Number two. There you have it. This is why you want to have events in your smart contract. And you know what? This is one of the benefits of configuring events. You can actually use this for even more applications. If you follow me and you subscribe to my channel, I am going to show you how can we grab those events and query and filter information and display that in Next.js. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe, and thank you for watching.